ZAI Labs has introduced two new members in the GLM family of AI models. So this is GLM 4.5 and GLM 4.5R. So GLM 4.5 is built with 355 billion total parameters. At any point of time, when you have a query which is being inferenced, there are 32 billion active parameters. Now GLM 4.5R has 106 billion total parameters and 12 billion active parameters. Both are designed to unify reasoning, coding and agentic capabilities into a single model. Okay. And both models are hybrid reasoning models. They offer thinking mode for complex reasoning and tool using and non-thinking mode for instant responses. Now you can try out this model on Z.AI, which is what I did. You'll be surprised that they have excellent benchmark numbers over here. I will go into it. But when I ask this model to actually do a zero shot, create a road rash like 3JS game, it actually generated something like this, right? Uh, I, no, I even downloaded this HTML and tried it locally. It generated something like this. This seems to be one of the poorest road rash generations I have seen with recent models. I'm not sure what is going on over here. Okay. But if you look at the benchmarks of this particular model, so just like artificial intelligence, uh, uh, analysis bench, uh, what do you call a common a score by combining 12 benchmarks here also they have shown something like that where they are saying that if you look at agentic reasoning and coding benchmarks as such 12 benchmarks basically and then you create a computer score this particular model is quite competitive it is third place after open is 03 grok 4 right even the smaller glm 4.5 r is supposed to be much better than Gemini 2.5 Pro by a smaller margin. Okay, that is what they are claiming over here. If you look at agentic benchmarks alone, both these models are much better than Cloud for Opus or say Gemini um, or GPT 4.1. That's what they are showing over here. Even in reasoning, uh, this model is, you know, when compared to DeepSeq R1 or Quen3, it is a much a little bit you know, lower over here. In, in coding, they say that this model is third best after Cloud for Opus and Cloud for Sonnet. But my experience has been different over here. So I'm not sure if these people are benchmark hacking, right? Uh, so then it shows excellent performance on benchmark and in real world, the experience is not so. Okay, but it's just been on my limited testing over here. Okay. Another thing which I generated over here was this audio visualizer. So they had this prompt as an example for coding. And I said, you know, uh, create a web based audio visualizer that turns music into moving bars. It gave this piece of code. It did not really work. Okay, so when I tried uploading an audio file or something and transforms your music into mesmerizing visual patterns, it doesn't work. Probably it has just created a front end over here. Okay, when I said that it didn't work, it said, okay, fine, I'll apologize for the previous code not working. Let me create a simpler, fully functional audio visual, visualizer that will definitely work. And then, you know, it gave me some, again, you know, code which doesn't work. So this is pretty surprising actually for me because a lot of models are able to generate a road rash with a single prompt and a decent enough game. Something is not happening properly over here. So this is their uh, chat platform. Okay, where you can actually go and you can create an account over here without an account also you can try and you can do various things like, you know, you can write code, uh, you can help me, uh, you can write some create, you can do some creative writing, you can search info, you can also generate AI slides. Now coming to this AI slides, it actually did a really good job of AI slides over here. So uh, I said, Create me a presentation on AI for clinicians with no technical background. Make it simple. Also include clinical use cases. Um, so it says that the user wants to create a presentation thinking uh, it says I'll search for information about AI for clinicians with no technical background, focusing on simple explanation and clinical use cases. 
I'll visit some of the most relevant pages to gather information. I'll continue reading this page to learn more about AI's own uh, role in healthcare for non-technical professionals. It does all this thinking, planning, this agentic task over here and it says that I will create this slide. So this slide is actually HTML, right? It creates HTML code for each of this slide. And if you look at it, the, the first page visualization itself uh, looks really nice. AI for clinicians. And then it says, what is AI? Computer systems that perform tasks typically requiring human intelligence creates a diagram over here, which is nice. Learns from data. I like this line. Does not replace clinicians, but enhances their capabilities. So this is for somebody without a um, completely non-technical background, right? And then it says, right, why AI matters in, you know, uh, healthcare. Uh, and here it says about growing complexity of medical information, information overload for clinicians, need for more efficient and accurate care, increasing demand for personalized medicine, potential to reduce clinician burnout. Uh, then it says, what is the categories in AI in healthcare, workflow enhancement, operational analytics, clinical decision support, then uh, it says, you know, use cases, AI for sepsis prediction, simple use cases it is showing over here, radiology follow-up. So it's created wonderful slides. I can directly take this slides and I can give a talk on, you know, AI in healthcare. So this, I like this feature of AI slides over here with this particular uh, GLM uh, 4.5 model on Z, uh, chat .z um, AI over here. I like this slides feature. But somehow coding features are not working for me, right? If I try it, I'm not getting good code or anything right over here. There is also a full stack, you know, option for creating something like a forum or some examples of full chat are there, uh, full stack are there, you know, like this. So I actually tried this out, right? And I said like, you know, create a forum for smartphone discussions. So it, as I understand, it creates a workspace over here, a virtual machine or something. And then it starts, you know, uh, creating some project config and then, but what I found is that after some time, it kind of, uh, it creates a database for, uh, you know, I said create a forum for smartphone discussions. This should be following, it should have the following sub forums like iOS, Android, Midrange, Flagship, etc. Users can create posts, can upload down po uh, vote posts, can upload videos and images. So it is designing this entire software project. It is actually creating uh, audio call over here. Uh, you know, a database to store these forums and other things. It says update Prism, uh, Prisma schema and so on. It creates some database over here. That's what I understand over here, run DB push. But after some time, it goes into some too many requests. So I think they need to, you know, they have a lot of demand currently. Probably their backend is not able to handle you know, so much demand. But this is something like creating a full stack software project over here, right? And you can also publish, which I mean, uh, which looks like deploying the project. Okay. So that feature is also there, but currently I think they are having heavy demand over here, right? So this was my limited testing. If you would like to support my channel, please uh, buy me a coffee over here, either at coffee.com with Srinivasan or you know, uh, buy me a coffee with Srinivasan. So either one of these places you can have a look at it. And uh, if you like to support the channel, please support the channel. So these models are available on Hugging Face with MIT license, which means that you can deploy it locally. But yeah, the GLM 4.5 is a 358 billion parameter. So it's huge VRAM requirements. But you also have the smaller model, uh, which is your R, okay? which is like having one, uh, which is having, again, it's not really small. It has one not six billion total parameters and 12 billion active parameters. Again, the memory requirements are going to be huge for this also. So this model is also there. And if you look at performance comparisons, this is also a really competitive model as per their results on benchmarks. Okay. Now for your practical use case, how is this going to work is something which you need to check. Right. So this model has 128K context length and native function calling capacity. That is what they're saying over here. And um, they have the other benchmarks over here on various, uh, you know, agent ability and other things, reasoning and other things over here. All right. Um, so they have put the scores across other models over here on various benchmarks. I'm just trying to see, yeah, on SW bench verified, uh, this has 64.2 and R has 57.6. 
again for some reason they have uh, okay so gemini 2.5 pro has 49 over here that's what they are saying over here okay this is an interesting graph where you have model parameters and sw bench verified performance and if you see kimi k2 has 1 trillion parameters you look at cloud for sonnet or gemini 2.5 or gpt 4.1 you don't know the actual size of these models this model they are saying is quite efficient over here and you know for its size and performance is also good over here okay so that is what they are saying over here so we conducted a pareto frontier analysis for all comparison models as illustrated in the room so this particular models glm 4.5 and 4.5 r demonstrate superior performance relative to models of comparable scale achieving optimal optimal efficiency on the performance scale trade-off boundary so that is what they are saying over here so this model is actually available on their uh, what you call on, the, on their api as well it's uh, available on hugging face it has an mit license people who can I have the infrastructure to deploy such models can deploy this model so this is interesting development coming from again china from um, zai labs okay so you can go and check out this particular model so they have some use cases over here i like the slides feature i'm not sure why the coding things uh, did not work properly right uh, so these were the slides and other things so that was nice but I'm not sure why the coding part did not work in the way it was expected to work. Okay. Uh, so you can integrate this with cloud code over here. That is what they are saying. They have their API, OpenAI compatible APIs on their API platform. You can chat with GLM 4.5 on Z.AI. It's free. You can try over there. Uh, so it has full stack development capabilities also. Okay. So this is a mixture of experts model. Uh, other details you can find over here. So this is a short video on GLM 4.5 family of models from ZAI. You can go and try out them and see if they are useful for your tasks. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.